oftentimes dreams don't work because they, they weren't big enough. Dreams don't work because they were somebody else's concoction. We are social and historical beings which means we were born into beliefs and interpretations. Some of the beliefs and interpretations we were born into were uh, when you grow up, it's good to be a lawyer. It's good to be a doctor. It's good to have a college degree. So if I'm 15, 16, 18, and I'm dreaming about going to college, is that actually my dream? Or is that the programming and the conditioning that I received as a child showing up in my 16, 17, and 18-year-old body? If I dream about having the right woman or the right man or whatever the case may be, is that actually my dream? Or is it the programming that I received from Disney and all the other movies that taught me that I'm not complete as a woman or a man until I find my one? I hope you guys are following me so far. You see, the, the game is not to chase dreams. You don't chase dreams. You chase alignment. And when you're in alignment, dreams will chase you. The life I'm experiencing right now, I could have never, ever, ever orchestrated on my own. How I got here, and what I mean by here is a multi-million dollar career. What I mean by here is manifesting the woman of my dreams. What I mean by here is having four beautiful, healthy, little, amazing children. What I mean by here is experiencing freedom on levels that I'm sure my dad, his dad, his dad, and his dad never felt. What I mean by freedom is the opportunity to give my gift, to be so deeply in alignment with what is true for me that there is nothing else on the planet that I know I'm supposed to be doing other than this. That didn't happen for me dreaming. I was dreaming about being an actor. I wanted to be an actor because I thought to myself, ah, I'm not good with numbers or all of these other things, but I, I am charismatic and I do have a big personality. And so I'll be an actor so that I can help people and teach people and, and build clean water wells in Africa and do all kinds of charity work for other humans. Do you guys see that my dream was built out of a wound? The wound of not good enough, the wound of I'm broken, right? This is internalized toxic shame. There was a huge part of me and and everybody affirmed this dream. Yes, Preston, go be an actor. Go climb to the top. What they didn't know and what I didn't even know then was that the point of that dream was just to get me started. That wasn't my truth. My truth was, is that I knew that I was here to serve, but teachers didn't make enough money. Mm, Let it land. My truth was, is that I knew I was here to serve in big ways, but I didn't, I didn't know the how. Oof, this is about to get juicy. Most of you don't even get started on anything because you need to know the how. And I'm going to tell you like this, sometimes almost all the time, the how is revealed when we're knee deep in the why and the what. Figure out why and and even just partially what, because direction is more important than speed, right? The the, the what doesn't have to be exact coordinates. I just need to know ex- like a, a, a general direction of which I'm headed in and why, why it matters to me. And through that, The how will will reveal itself on a need-to-know basis. The how will reveal itself through the who. But we got to be clear on why. 